Today's fall of 0.3% on the share market all happened in the 20 minutes leading up to the presidential debate at 11am. And I've got absolutely no idea why that would happen. Lithium stocks like Mineral Resources, Pilbara Minerals and Arcadium all went for a gallop because of reports that a Chinese battery maker called CATL had suspended production at a couple of its lithium mines. Now, these rumours have been around before, but maybe this time. That mining happiness rubbed off on the iron ore stocks as well, but the banks dragged the market down. In fact, the iron ore price fell last night, as did oil and copper, while gold rose half a percent. The US market went up half a percent, but Asian stocks were sold off today, and the Aussie dollar eased very, very slightly to 66.6 .6 US cents. Now, the ABS released overseas arrivals and departures data for July today. These aren't the official net overseas migration figures, but an early stab at them from those little cards you have to fill in on the plane when you arrive. Net permanent and long-term arrivals in July, that is arrivals minus departures, permanent and long-term, totaled 66,780, making it 463,150 for the past 12 months. Now, the government's June 2025 target is 260,000, so between now and then, the monthly average has to be 17,500, less than half the monthly average over the past 12 months. But the limit on foreign students seems to have got off to a cracking start. The Department of Home Affairs has absolutely slashed student visas well ahead of the caps. Net student arrivals in August were 9,150, less than half last August. And the number for the year to August was up 136,460, half the proposed cap. And that's finance.